Look who just showed up. And it's my first big nugget from my dream plane. Flame jumpers with hot water heaters, metal detectors, dredging equipment. It's just in case something happens. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. I'm really excited for today because we are on a really renowned Gold Creek known for its big gold nuggets. I'll be starting off using a metal detector then hopefully getting under the water to see what lays below. Ninja roll! I swear we've seen this guy before. So we're here now. And as excited as I am, I'm also kind of nervous because we are here with Dan Hurd. He's supposed to be here any minute. And last time I saw him, I found a nice rock and... And it was really scary. Walking into the top half of the claim. The claim is about a kilometer and a half of river. And we're walking into the top half because it's a lot harder to get to, meaning it hasn't been worked as hard in the past. Hopefully, that translates to more gold. I'm Dan's helper. So I'm just gonna start off using a go pan and a metal detector. This bedrock is actually really, really good, according to Dan. Big gold has been found here in the water, out of the water, but I don't believe anyone's been here with a good metal detector, so we're gonna have to do a couple laps and see what we can find! Woo! Say hi, Bryson! Shut up! It sounds good, but we never know until we dig it up. So the rocks in here are really packed, which is a very good sign. Basically means that we're gonna come out with 15 ounces today. There is most likely gonna be little pieces of gold in here as well. Just by how packed everything is. Let's pan it out. That's what I thought. It's a piece of wire. On to the next. Another nail. Woo! Yeah! We got a nail! Yeah! Woohoo! Ah. And it's my first big nugget from my dream claim. What's that? Three three grams? Four grams? Bye bye! Oh hey! Holy oh, just ate it! Sitting on bedrock. I, it was actually attached to this piece of bedrock. It looked like a yellow stone. Wow. It didn't wait. necessarily look like gold. That's four and a half. Grams. You think that's four and a half? Four All right, enough of you nerds. I'm going to go oh find a nugget. God. Sorry to say this, Polly. You just detected that. Maybe you didn't go down this low. Oh, that made my day. That made my day. Uh, wow. That's awesome, man. Okay. So, as you just saw, Dan just scored a massive nugget. <laughs> Out of this spot over here. I think it's safe to say we should all work right here. Matt, my turn. So I just pulled the one nugget from there. As I swing the metal detector right beside it, I get a second signal. It's not as big of a signal, but there's definitely a second signal right there. Taking off my boots. 
So these are a big problem when you're metal detecting. Steel-toed boots. Get rid of them. You're Dan's helper, right? Yes. I'm helping Dan. He goes, hey, there's a cutesy little spot, and I thought, well, I'll help him with that. So, yeah. Heads over bare feet. I didn't bring any uh, water shoes here. Luckily, the water is nice and refreshing today. For some reason, I'm taking this extra careful. I don't know why. Look at that. Nothing else. There are a few specks, tiny specks, and that's it. It's okay. I've had a good day already. We're on the bedrock. So it should be gold or another metal. The fact that Dan found gold so close to this spot gives me high hopes. But I don't like getting excited too early. Still saying full gold. Yeah. Woohoo! I was way off. Please be gold, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sucks! <laughs> it's a piece of metal. It's like it's like foil from a beer can. All right, let's just hurry up. Find a real target. Woo! Foil. Foil again. So on the gold monster 1000, the metal detector that Dan Hurd is using, lead, foil, or gold, all read under gold. So Polly and I just found another one. Nowhere near as big as the first. That's probably just under a gram, but it looks very similar, similar style as the first one. We are happy. I think I found another signal. Maybe another nugget. <laughs> I have a great sounding signal. Let's see what it is. <laughs> so it's not a huge nugget, otherwise I would have seen it go in. But let's see. Need a hat trick today. Need a hat trick. Now I'm just getting greedy. Goodness! Oh, I can't even speak anymore. <laughs> it's flat. It's a flat one. That's got to be over a gram. <laughs> I gotta make sure I don't get too excited here. I'm starting to get lightheaded. <laughs> oh wow, nice. Cool. Good for you, man. Well, oh, that's a sweetheart. She's a little pancake. So my detector just died just in time because Dan's here to save the day. <laughs> Popped over the gold for a second, but it's mostly saying iron. Okay, well I've already found two pop cans, so it could be another pop can. <laughs> yeah. So we have to go get more batteries because my detector's dead. So we gotta go all the way to the car. The car? Oh god, that's so far. It's the adventure that counts. I was always told, if there is something you wanted in life, you just gotta take it. Not every day will be a win. You will fall. You will cry. But eventually, you will get there. Dan has them. So we were just taking a little break. I got Keith to fly the drone upstream just to get some more shots. And he noticed something a little suspicious. Yeah. Not good, man. So both Dan and I went upstream to the top of his claim and we noticed three vehicles that aren't Dan's. Well, right away we know it's a little suspicious. Hey Dan, so what did you come across? A nightmare. A freaking nightmare. Dredging equipment. Claim jumpers with uh, hot water heaters, air Metal pumps, detectors. Metal detectors. In the river there's two dredges. We flew the drone up in the air and down into the canyon. There's a dredge down there, there's a tent. What kind of operations going on here? You guys are doing some gold mining? Well, we're just gonna camp. 
Do some padding, yeah. I see you got hoses and a metal detector there. Oh yeah, metal detector. Yeah. yeah. I've never found anything with a metal detector ever. Yeah, that's a gold bug metal detector, yeah. Yeah, I've never found nothing. Ever. Were you down there on the river yeah, doing some stuff? Yeah, yeah. 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 Just, uh, yeah, I own the claim that runs right right from here yeah. all the way up for a couple kilometers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so just panning in. No panning, no nothing. No nothing. So no it, nothing on that. it could be a bit alarming to see like hoses and a metal detector okay, on a... Well, the, on well, the hoses are, are just for so we get the supply of water to the gap. Like yeah, were you walking down this trail out onto the point there and working down there? Yeah, yeah. I was just under the understanding that, that, you're, that you're allowed to pan. A little bit more than a pan though, the metal detector and the pump and the hoses. Um, I'd rather you did not do a video Oh, I'm legally allowed to. Because actually what you guys did was, uh, you guys can get big fines for what you're doing. I didn't... Oh. We just got to get your information. It's just in case we leave and then something happens, you know. So right now we're gonna go down to the bottom of this hill to see those other two people. Kind of get an establishment to see exactly what they may have down there. So the lady up there claims that all this stuff isn't hers. Of course, everybody blames somebody else for their actions, right? But also in bare feet. Ow! That's kind of neat. Wanna go ahead? They've been here for a long time. <laughs> There's a guy down there, literally wearing his dry suit for dredging. I was honestly afraid to confront them in case they threw canned goods at me. So normally, I wouldn't have a big issue with people jumping on my claim, especially with a gold pan and that kind of thing. It's If they don't know any better, whatever. I can't stop everybody. But Dan Hurd works so hard to have nice things. And this claim happens to be the best claim that he's ever bought, and the most expensive one he's ever had. And he's very, very proud of it. So with all the sacrifice and hard work he has put in to own a claim like this, it's very disrespectful and upsetting when somebody walks over here for free, throws in a dredge, sucks up the gold and gets away with, with no problem. Just free gold for them, you know? So typically I would feel bad for the people, but in this case, it's, they deserve what's coming. They obviously came in in a concentrated effort, you know? They're yeah, probably like two, three days, work as much as they can, suck as much as they can. And found something. <laughs> you came back with a dredge. If you're running yeah. dredges, you got something. They know that. Now I know why. Yeah, because they've seen the gold. She's, she's just saying she knows why Dan, this is his dream claim, because they've seen the, fact the gold. That she said that. It was like an indication that she knows exactly oh, yeah. what she's doing. Look who just showed up. Hey, Forrest, what's your yeah. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you guys. Hi. YouTubers, all right on. Yeah. So this yeah. is what we're trying to... First, we're trying to find the area that you're okay. talking about. You found it, yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. And they've yeah. got a pretty big camp down there, like a large tent, and it's a pretty sophisticated setup. They're set up to be there for more than a couple days. Oh, wow. Like, it's not like a two-day tent. It's like a big, like, 14 by 14 tent, and they've got a hot tent down on the beach where they can warm up after coming out of the water. We went down there, and he was still in a dry suit in the river with the dredge. Okay. Thank you, Thank you guys, Thank you. appreciate it. So, unfortunately, we didn't capture the moment things got a little heated once the police went over the hill. I'm assuming it's because the cameras kept them calm, and I also didn't see the moment my fender got kicked in. As for the group at the river, they gave the police a pinch of their gold, and I'm assuming, ran away with the rest. So, the police just left, and they came back with a coffee cup. And this is what they apparently have found. So all this is really what motivates somebody to camp for multiple days, bring multiple dredges, and uh, that's probably about $95,000. I'm sure they hit it and then took just enough, put it aside that they could say, this is what I found. So there was something for them to say. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to end this video <laughs> on a good note. <laughs> um, claim jumping is very bad. I don't recommend anybody doing it, especially with a dredge. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and it's coming in the near future. Unfortunately, I didn't find gold today, so there's nothing to show you back at my house, but Dan found gold. I'll put a screenshot right here. And uh, go check out his channel if you want to see more of his perspective. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until next one, black screen. Local.
Yeah! We got a nail! Yeah!